To build a sustainable future where all humans have access to fresh food, we must use efficient growing methods that optimize resources like water, nutrients, and space, like hydroponics. We went on the local scene to the Plymouth County Sheriff's Farm. So Sheriff McDonald had uh, seen this aquaponics program out in Berkshire County here in Massachusetts and was really excited at the thought of bringing it back. So we started working on this a few years ago and the concept was how do we expand our growing season from a couple of months into 12? And then how do we take that and how do we give that as an educational tool, not only to the men that find themselves incarcerated with us, but to their families and to the community at large. The Justice Educational Program is a program designed to create a learning environment for inmates that eventually when they get out can go out and, and, and do this type of stuff in, in this type of field. This growing program that's been at the farm here on Obery Street has benefited uh, people for many years. Uh, actually, the farm started as a means for people to grow food for themselves that were incarcerated. Now, today, what happens is we grow produce in the fields during the growing season. Uh, now we have aquaponics for 12 months and hydroponics 12 months out of the year and that food goes back to our food pantries. It'll go back to uh, distribution points in the city of Brockton and our goal basically is to get this fresh produce into the hands of people throughout all of Plymouth County in a lot of different means. So this is a 650 gallon fish tank uh, that holds around, we've got about 60 tilapia in this right now. The tilapia actually fertilize the lettuce. The fish give out 10 nutrients that are beneficial to the lettuce. There's only two nutrients that they don't give out, which would be uh, potassium and iron. So the fish produce everything else that sustains the lettuce. So the tilapia was chosen um, by Hunter Gardens, who works with us because of the, the pH balance and the contribution that that fish actually makes. But at some point, the fish will be harvested. And we're working with a nonprofit who will then turn that into food. So this is our seed starting station. Um, you can see everything's at various stages. It gets planted in this rock bowl. It normally probably stays in this for two to three weeks before it gets planted into the grow beds, which then will take another three weeks to grow. So in our second grow bed, I can show you some of the roots. No, no, uh, no soil involved. This is grown in straight water, fertilized by the fish. So the process of harvesting this is we take these trays out and we pull the lettuce out of these holes. Each one of these has 12 heads of lettuce in it. We also have to clean these every time we harvest. We just clean the top, we can't clean the bottom because if you clean the bottom, there's all kinds of good bacteria on the bottom and that's what we need for the plants to grow. Then the final step in the process would be to uh, replant this bed. This is our Beto bucket system. This is truly hydroponic system here. Um, we're growing tomatoes currently in this. Uh, maybe in the future we might grow some cucumbers. But uh, as you can see, the tomatoes, they're really starting to produce now. So once again, there's no soil in these. This is, a, this is just a, a media. This stuff is actually what you see in um, bags of soil, just to keep the stuff moist. Aeroponics is, is a hydroponics type system, but it's not constantly in water. It's getting water dripped down from the top into these little cups where the roots are. Every 12 minutes it goes off, and then it goes on for six minutes, it gets water and nutrients. We're hoping that we're, we're able to open this, educate people, make them aware of these growing systems. 
They seem new, but they're old. It's all ancient uh, techniques, right? Aztecs did it with uh, the water gardens in the past. So if you take the same footprint, we can get five to 10 times greater yield using an aquaponics hydroponics program while using 90% less water. So I think the sky's the limit in terms of saying, look, if this is here, come learn, benefit from it. And if you can incorporate it into your life and you find value, fantastic. We wanna be part of that. The Plymouth County Sheriff's Farm is at 74 Obery Street in Plymouth, and there's lots to see and do there, including a petting zoo and flowers and plants for sale. Learn more at pcsdma.org. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button before you go. We'll see you next time.